All right, we're going to do something a little different on this install. I'm going to show you guys everything, kind of like Jenna Jackson at the Super Bowl that one year. All right, we're going to get everything unboxed, take the plastic off everything. I like to check the screen if I don't show the TV just to make sure it ain't broken. And then we're going to put the brackets on this TV. There's a little recessed area on this TV that makes it sit super flat to the wall. Now, if you want to do this yourself, it's going to come with a template. You just have to match up what size TV you have. I take a measurement from the top of the TV to the first hole on the mount. So if you look right there, those first set of holes from the top to right there is like 10 inches. Pause. And then what I do is that's how I determine where it's going to sit at on the wall. I use the template just to get a generalization where the holes are going to be. And then I use the laser level to make sure everything is all even. I don't know if y'all noticed, I only do the top when it comes to the template. And then I just sit the bracket on there and then I mark where the bottom is supposed to go. Then we're going to put some toggle bolts in. If I don't have a stud, I think in this situation, we did have a stud on both sides. So we're going to trace for our white box. That was just me making sure that there was nothing inside the wall. And of course, there was something inside the wall. A lot of these builders will put two box sixes in for extra support just for hanging the TV up. But yeah, we don't need all that. All right, y'all see the builder put the coax and all that up there, but they didn't put an outlet. I don't get why they do stuff sometimes. Need to uh, check that thing tomorrow? Whoa. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Listen, when I pull up to the crib, we're going to have some fun. All right, we're going to cut this two by six out first. Then we're going to do a test fit on our box. Now the coax and our ethernet is going to get sent through the box. We're going to knock that out first. Apply the outlet first. I, I didn't say it first like a thousand times. <laughs> so, all right, all that's going to go inside the box, secure the box to the wall, and then secure our toggle bolts and our studs that we have for this mount right here. Now, I can't have everything all everywhere. I got to clean up. It just helps me focus better when my area is clean. Whoa. <laughs> all right, so all we got left is to put the one connect box and really just put the TV up there. This is my favorite TV to install. This was just so many moving pieces. And I got ADD, so it just it's so soothing to be able to like skip steps, do this, do that, come back to this, you know, stuff like that. Put these two studs next to each other, it goes like that a lot. So I'm worried about the city flat. Another problem we run into, you know, they build these houses in three to four days. So sometimes when the wall's not straight, it'll make the TV bulge out a little bit. So I'm gonna show you guys towards the end how it kind of made it not sit completely flat. Well, definitely flat enough to give it that nice look. Y'all definitely want to check out these Samsung frame TVs and all the cuz of the, 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 the goddamn, uh, all the color, <laughs> all the color bezels that y'all can get. You can customize it just like you do your iPhone, even though you're gonna put a case on it anyway. See, that was that little spot right there that it made it bulge off the wall because the wall wasn't straight, but this side was perfect. So it wasn't me this time, okay? I feel like Shaggy right now. Let me stick to the topic. This is what we got, y'all. Again, if y'all need one of these, we got them in stock. Highlight us.